approved. For the Water Commission's meeting, we'll call to order Thursday, December 15th, 2022, at 6 p.m. This meeting is being recorded. Roll call. Chairman Ed Johnson present. Commissioner John Kane present. Commissioner Dave Mesler present. Randy Brown, DPW Director present. Chrissy Baya, DPW Office Manager, present remotely. Okay, we got full board. Okay. Is there any public comment? Is there any public comment? But seeing none, uh, we reviewed the minutes of October. No, this, this says this says January, but I mean July, but it's October. See it up here. This, this is the October. Oh, okay. Just the date. No, 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 not that much. The other one. I don't want to say July. Oh, don't don't trade it all. Second, okay. second. Yeah, it's July, May, but it's actually October. So I'm sure she's actually not. Anyone else? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. you see up here, it's October. She just forgot to change it here. Okay. So that that's October's meeting now. Why is that? So motion to accept the minutes. Yeah, just makes a, okay. a note about it being, you know, makes a change to July, October. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I make a motion to accept the minutes with the change in date. I second. I second it. All in favor. Rick Johnson. Aye. John Kane. Aye. Dave Mesler. Aye. Okay. Pass. Okay. Elderly rates. We have eighteen of them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 18 of them, and they all meet the requirements. All 18. I'm not going to look at every single one because Christy went through them, Randy went through them, and they all meet. They all meet. There, the, there's two of um, them. Yeah, these, are, these are separate. Okay. So yeah, those are there's separate. actually 19. I counted. Well, there's one there's there. 19 total. I there's 19 total on that sheet that um, if you go past the minutes, I typed them all out in the packet. Yeah. I counted, I counted 18, Christy. Because that one we're not going to act on, right? The one that's already. Yeah. I don't know. Here, you count and see if I come up with 18. But... All right. So you want to elaborate on the other two, Randy? Why you you want to vote on those first? No, he's going to count because I don't. Oh, okay, I bet. Right. Yeah. So there was a couple of those are, I guess, questionable uh, for Shore Road. Sure. They submit an application, but do they hate them? They are not eligible until April 8th, 2023, which would be after the next billing cycle. Ends. Yeah, so if we do approve it, it won't take effect until April 2023. Yeah. They could either approve it now or just get rid of it and make it. It's just here, he's, not, he's not head of the household either. It's not checked off. He's got 65. Yeah, 65. It says you have to be both. Yeah. So, I'd, I'd wait till I'd wait till April. Right. Right. We can notify how recent that Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. That's not going to happen. Jump in that early. Okay, then we got Stanley Jacobowski. He meets all the requirements, but his brother lives in the household. But I guess there's a history there. There's a history of leaks on the property, and there's an outstanding leak now that they've been notified. It's after the meter, so it's getting billed to them. But uh, when we ask to fix the leak, they say they don't have the funds to do it this time. So if we approve the rate, what's going to happen is any anything over that tier one category is going to would get stay billed at that at tier one. It won't go to tier two or your tier three or to the higher tiers. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Okay. What what are the leaks? <clears throat> if they're are they between not between the house and the meter, obviously, right? It's after the meter. meter. It, 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 the there's meter? a meter pit at that location. Okay. So it's somewhere after the meter pit. <laughs> okay. We I, I we counted Dave counted. We got 18, Christy. Okay. Okay, so you want to make a motion for the 18? We'll sign them later. Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept the 18 elderly rate applicant applications. I second it. Okay, all in favor of Johnson, aye. John Kane, aye. Dave Mesler, aye. Okay. Oh, so this one here 
So for sure, you're going to hold off. Yeah, we're going to hold off until after his birthday. Yeah. You, can get, you, can resub, you can resubmit it. And then if we got an issue with this and he's not fixing a water leak, I don't see why he deserves. That's that. probably number 19 right there. It could be. With yes. 19 listed here. Yeah, but see, this was questionable. That was, yeah, said there's 18 there. This is the one that was 19 and 20. She had these separate. I got Sam Jacob all through there. Yes. So if he won't fix the leaks, why should it be probably great if he refuses to fix the leak? Yeah. I mean, that's my that's my feeling. I don't want your gentleman feeling it. So yeah. I'll he refuses nice. to fix yeah. the leak and uh, when I could get the only rate if he doesn't want to fix the leak. So can I have a motion on that? I'll make a motion to deny the applicant at 75 San West Road until they repair the leaks. Uh, the second on that. Second. All in favor, hit Johnson, aye. John Kane, aye. Okay. We'll notify you then. Yeah, we'll sign we'll sign all this stuff afterwards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Randy, PBW for okay, just a few things here. Uh first of all, we're still working with uh Mass DEP and the DCR, the Department of Conservation and Recreation for our water needs forecast. Yep, as part of the water withdrawal permit renewal. Uh John Gard, who's a town planner, and myself had a meeting with DCR on November 28th, talk about potential growth over the next couple of years. So a little bit news report, uh, some more baby steps, but it's still a slow process. So we're still waiting. I had thought after at that 11-20 meeting, they were gonna go back and look at some numbers and reach out back to me and John. I thought they would have done that by now, but I have not heard anything. So um, the ball's been report to uh, renew or revise what they had we had talked about earlier. So that's the first one. Uh, item two, we had another uh, sample results, samples taken for halocytic acids uh, for the fourth quarter. That was taken on 11 eight at wells one and two. Uh, so the good news is the samples were lower than they were for the past three quarters, but uh, still because the average of the quarter is still above the MCL, uh, it was a trigger violation. So we did send that public notification out. Um, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you get your notice? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, those notices were sent out, and um, this is, you know, been ongoing for a year now, and it'll be going to continue to uh, be ongoing. Uh, item three, PFAS samples. We took our latest PFAS samples in October at well one and two. Uh, well one had a no detect, and well two had 2.1 parts per trillion. Which is below the 20 parts per trillion uh, max and containment level. Right. So we are okay on those. And uh, we had to do that. This is the first round of sampling we did for PFAS. We had to do quarterly sampling. And we did, we finished that quarterly sampling for one year. And now we, we, we transitioned to once a year sampling. Okay. So we will sample, I think, well one samples in January and well two samples in, in October every year. Okay. And that's until so these pieces otherwise that's how we will uh, well, that's how we will uh, sample. Uh lead and copper. We took lead and copper samples at 40 households plus two schools and a daycare um over the last couple months. Uh we got those samples back a few weeks ago. Everything came out um, as expected. Everything was below the contaminant levels, and we did nail those results back to the courts. So nothing nothing to report there other than that. Yeah. You got yours, yes. Uh, Emil from Sigma Water continues to perform his backbone inspections, and uh, you know, I think he has a little more to do next week, which he that he needs to do before the end of the year. And uh, I talked to him a couple of days ago; he'll get that done for us. And then the last item is 55 Sand West Road. Uh, we had an issue with the water service being tampered right. with in the meter, so we ended up at, based on the last discussion, the last meeting, we cut and tapped that service at the main. At the main, so that's no longer an issue. And that's what I got. The next page is the work order summaries since our last meeting. Was there any uh, response to that? From 55 sandwich? Yeah. Nothing yeah. from the yeah. owner or yeah. tenant. What's that tell you? <laughs> yeah, I figured it was much. <laughs> and I've talked to him too, but that's that. Uh, that's right. An appointment, Randy. Uh, yeah. So, what time is it? Wait, I, was, I was expecting all of our appointments to show today. I talked to you all. 
Uh, we can start off if you want uh, with 581. The first one at 610. Yep, 581. Do you want to jump over to the new business before we well, do if you want. minute or two? If you want. We can be quick about it. Um, master plan update. So as you know, I'm on the master plan committee. Right. We have a meeting tonight. Um, about a year ago, I think the board designated uh, Dave to be the liaison. Right. You remember that, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, your time's up. Your turn's up. <laughs> My time's up. It's not your time. Your turn. So um, we are holding uh, focus groups meetings sometime in January, and they're asking for assembly for the water commission part of that focus group. Talk about you know be part of a infrastructure um, group with other other like myself, others that are involved in that. David, you be able for that? I don't know. I don't have a date or time yet. I may know more tonight. Yeah. But I know sometime in January, they're looking at holding these focus groups, probably during the day. We can be available by Zoom or in person. Okay. I take an hour or two. Yeah, if he's not available, I can tell him. So, yeah, I'd be happy, whoever I'd be happy to do it. All right. I'm on my own. So, okay. I'll talk with Dave and then I guess if. Okay. If you can, I'll talk to Kevin or Yep. I'm around. Uh, do you want to talk about 581? I know the owner is not in town, but he said his father was supposed to show up today. Tracy, there's nobody waiting on Zoom, is there? No, nobody on Zoom. Okay. Now, is, did we notify him because of the spike? So uh, this one, there was, I don't think there was a notice um, because it was intermittent. So it was on and off all, all year long, basically. Okay. So this was uh, 581. It's the uh, house next to. It's owned by the owner of Xantos. Yep. He owns the house, house next to. Yep. It. So it's is that house. There's a tenant living there, and if you read his the form here, he said they were toilet flap and handle were defective, and led to about a twenty five thousand gallon increase in water usage over that time period. And then once they were aware of it, they made repairs. There's a copy of receipt of a invoice or okay. invoice to Home Depot. Got the bill in here. Um, no, there was no notice. Like I said, it was on and off all year long. It, it hit the, the meter did hit zero um, almost every day, basically. But it was uh, it just, you know, when it did hit zero, it was at 20 and 30 yeah, hours. Probably wiggle it or whatever. Yeah. You know, so there, they requested an amount of $250, um, which is equates to about 34,000 gallons of water use under the tier and then at at the, under the tier three rate, highest the highest rate. So uh, we also looked at how much they water water they typically use. Um, and let's see here. So their average usage was about uh, thirty eight thousand gallons for the billing period. They were billed at sixty seven thousand gallons for the billing period. So the difference was about 28,000 gallons, which we expect that was the high cost. So if you go by that number, uh, the abatement request at the highest tier would be $211.48. Uh, and then also if you go with your more typical percent abatement on the bill, that, that abatement would be at $49.23. Dave, John? I mean, I, I don't like to do it when they don't show up. So, right. I mean, maybe we can, I would say either we give them another chance to show up or we can do it deny it in the sewer portion. But we have to do sewer, right? Yeah, right. I mean, I'm, I'm in favor of giving them 10%. That's it. If they didn't show up. I don't know. I mean, it's either, I feel like they had a problem. Their problem, they fixed it. That was what their water bill was. I still want to set a precedent that anytime you have right. a water leak in your house, they're going to go in and update right. it. Well, I haven't got a problem with that. I say give them a... The water department, yes. Yeah, come on in. We're not there yet, but come on in. Stand out here. There are seats, whatever you want to do. We are more comfortable. Yeah, I haven't got a problem with that either. I mean, yeah. Well, I say give them another chance. And if they don't show up a second time, then... Yeah, if you want to make that a motion, yeah, we can do that. Uh, can you sign in, please? Make a motion to 
table this or give them a deny it for now, give them another chance to evade it. But next will show up and then we can make a decision then. So remember, you're not you're not voting to deny, you're voting to just just to, to table it. Yeah, we're not going to deny it. We're right. table it. Right. And, and notify them. And, okay, so table it and then notify them. Right. They have another chance right. to come back. Have a second. I second the motion to table. All in favor, at Johnson, I. John K and I. Dave Mesler, I. Okay. Just table till the next meeting. Okay. Number two. Assuming you're Mrs. Ray. So this is the second abatement request for 15 Fowler. Um, you have a chance to speak if you like. Um, if they, they can... I didn't, okay, sorry. I didn't know that we had a leak until I got the postcard. So we went around and checked all the uh, boxes and everything. And then when I went in the back, we have a hose, we have an underground hose that goes from the house to the garden. And there was this spot. And my brother will um, uh, set it up and he fixed it. What was it? I don't know what else to say. Oh, he fixed it. Yeah, it was a. The... I don't know how much. So we leaked started around June 6th. Uh, they were sent a notice on June 13th. At the time, the leak was about 30 gallons an hour. It looked like it started lower than that, and it ramped up to 30 gallons an hour. Uh, the raise called on the 16th. Uh, they got the note, the postcards. They had some questions about the postcards. They called back, and later that day, they uh, they found that there was a leak in the hose. They had to shut off. So I gave you some more of the numbers. Um, they typically use about 135 gallons per day. Um, during that time period, um, it looked like there was an excess of about 7,800 gallons lost during that, during those uh, about a week, week and a half from time when we started on the 6th to the 16th. And what was it fixed? It was fixed on the 16th. So they got, they got the postcard, you know, probably that day and they fixed it right away. Um, their payment request is for $75 which is um, about 10,600 gallons of water use under tier two rate. And if you go based on the amount that we project was lost to 7,800 gallons, that equates to about $55.19. Or if you go with your 10% abatement, that comes to about $25.94. I like to use the actual amount of water that we figure would generally not use. So I think the 7,000 gallons at the rate was the $55. Right. Something like that. Yeah, I agree with that too. That's what I was going to say. But I make a motion to evade $55 and 19 uh, cents. cents. I'll second that John. motion. All in favor, Red Johnson, aye. John Kane, aye. Steve Mesmore, aye. Okay, I'm going to beat you at $55 and 19 cents, man. All right, you're welcome. So if you will, um, Chrissy, help me out here. Do you, you you'll get a credit because you already paid the bill? I did. So you'll get a credit at fifty-five dollars and nineteen cents on your bill, and which you can just carry forward to your next bill. Okay. Or you can ask for that to be paid back to you. It's your choice. Oh, what did they get the um, carry, carry yeah. forward? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Chrissy will do that. For Chrissy, you got that? Um, she wants to have it put on the next bill. Yeah, carry it forward. Yep. yep. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll send her a letter with the information showing the credit. Yeah, 5519. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Are you on sewer? No sewer. No, no sewer there. No. Nope. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, man. thanks for coming out. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, you would well, man. Okay. 257A Feeding Hills Road. So those are two gas outside. Okay, how are we doing? Good, are you? Good. Just sign that mic before you.
Or do you want to have a hub before? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, we all know about the abatement last time. It was the thing with the water line was leaking. And all we're trying to figure out is how much more it was leaking from April 1st to June from when it was actually fixed. So we took the, the average over like a seven or eight year average, which is 244,000 gallons a year. It's the same the water we used in that um, a lot of the time or a lot of the uh, time there, yeah. So what we're asking for is the $1,700 off because the average that we did, what did we, how much did we use? I, used, I used the last two years. Average, which is 239,710. That we're asking for 50%. Because during that, yeah, during that time, we used 835,000. So for three months, for three months there before we found them, that's how much it was still using in that period of time. So where is the water going? Yeah. That's what I want to know. That I, the water is that whole line has been completely sectioned off. I capped it on all ends. I dug a whole new water line from the meter all the way around the, the house on the property, all the way around the greenhouse and the barn. And then I, I brought the water lines back in. I tore, I took two strips of the asphalt up and I put one in the head house and one in another greenhouse. And then I just capped the whole lines off. So everything is a brand new inch and a quarter water line. No leaks, no nothing from from the from the meter, and it's about 400 feet of pipe, and it's all brand new. Everything was done. And I, like I said, I capped the other ends off, so there's nothing leaking anymore on that. I can we're completely 100% legit now. When when was that done? Everything was capped off, and we we shut down because it was in the greenhouses. We weren't using them because we used the greenhouses up until July 1st. So I shut everything off on July 1st. And then I just did the water line about, I don't know, about a month and a half ago. I redug everything, but I had all the water off completely for that area from that meter going to where everything's going now. So like I said, I dug trench two old brand new lines and then I capped those ends off and I turned the water pressure back on. So everything is up to par right now. Randy, what was the previous abatement that he, he was awarded? I wasn't here at that meeting. I have it. That family emergency. So the original bill was $7,181.81. Of that, $6,187.17 was abated. Was abated. Now they're up for another $17,000. Because the repairs are going on during this billing cycle. Yeah, during the billing cycle. Right. This was repaired, I think, in mid to late June, July. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So middle of June was repaired. Yeah. July. Or July, yeah. And middle of June. July. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we, like I said, we, we retraced the line. I mean, I spent six weeks chasing the wrong water line there at the beginning, but that one had a leak in it also. So that, that one was, that was a different meter anyway. So, but like I said, I chased all the lines down, repaired all the valves and everything. And everything's brand new. So, tip the top. Dave? And I use the same analysis as the first time around to come up with this question. Because uh, it says we used 800 and. Oh, it says we used 713 gallons, 1,000 gallons, when the average over the last seven or eight years was about 240. Every year it doubled. Yeah. What's your input on this, Dave? I have another minute. Huh? I have another minute. I'm still on 2021. So that's
I mean, it wouldn't be far off the city to use 300 ish thousand gallons, right? Yeah. I mean, the average is 250, but the highest number we've ever used is 309. So, I mean, even on a high end, the most we would have used is 309. Under old meters. Yeah. So how, under many old gallons, meters how many gallons are we trying to update off of the, the total goes for, so for, for, for round number is 460. Uh, total number is 490. 490. 490. Okay. And I'm looking for 240. Basically, how it's back to the normal number. Which, I mean, normal is relative. I would say you're around, you're between 250 to 300, 350. Uh, and I'm asking, my number yeah. is, it gets to 245. So if you want to make it 250, I won't argue. I, I was going to start saying 300. 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300. That's, that's, that's possible. I mean, three, yeah. But also, I mean, you had a leak. It's, it's not. Right. It's right. Right. You might not have, no, used, I get the, it. You might not have used the water to irrigate, right? Yeah. But it went through your meter. It did go through the meter. So, I mean, yeah. So, even on the higher end, I mean, at least just looking for something. I mean, we're not trying to kill you guys either. So, what's a what's 150,000 gallon at their rate? Tracy, can you pull it up? You said 150,000? Yeah, at the tier three rate, probably. Okay, yeah. give me a give me a second. One thousand ninety-five dollars. How much again? One thousand ninety-five dollars. One zero nine five point zero zero. Thank you. <clears throat> and that, I mean, your max use, so if we're taking, if you have 490, right. we're going to take off 150,000 gallons. You got a cost of the leak that you knew you had, but yeah. you thought you had fixed it, which it is what it is. But the water went through the meter. So yeah. we're, no, that's that. Water went through the meter. Yeah. Much. No, I get it. That, that works. Like anything, any little bit helps. It really does. I think that's. And that kind of going forward, we're good. Well, <laughs> I hope you won't see it. We should have been all on one, one cycle. I know that would have been great. Right. Getting to make, make it a bill. They got kind of come out the problem. I wish I didn't realize it. I thought it was all on one cycle, but but I mean, if you replace everything, though, I think you did your due diligence on your side. Everything's right here. I mean, we probably put. Six thousand, seven thousand dollars into it. I mean, yeah, rental machine, fuel, all brand new pipe, all brand new stainless fittings, everything. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion. Yeah, bring a motion. Make a motion to pay thousand ninety five dollars off the bill. Off the water bill. Second. Uh, second. All in favor? Johnson, I. Steve Mentor, I. John Kane, I. Gary, first do you want to carry that forward yeah. like the last time? Yeah. Okay. That's great. Appreciate it, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, I get, we get a letter from us anyways, just clarifying what the vote was today, and then we'll put your current your, your current credit okay. letter. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That works. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, these are the holidays that you need to sign. You too. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yep, I'll be there. Uh, so, oh, yeah, we'll sign. Yeah, sign we got a bunch of sign after. Yeah. Uh, 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 old business, Randy. I had nothing for old business. Dave, John? Nope. No. Well, has there been anything from the National Planning Commission Committee yet about? Anything related to infrastructure that was fine. That's kind of we. The, it's been more of a high level discussion, and now that we're breaking these these focus groups, are kind of like getting down into the, some more details. So nothing reported on that. Um, I think after this focus group meeting in January, it's when you'll be involved. I think they're going to do a more discussion. Okay. I don't think this master plan. I think this 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 committee will probably meet for another eight or nine months at least. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We're a two year process. We're just over here now. Okay. 
So, new business for me. Uh, we talked about the master plan update. I have nothing else for new business. Well, I've been getting emails from the small fish groups on phone. Can they? I will let you know. Oh no, I'll I'll send you an email or a text or something. Okay. Are there are there days where you know you can or cannot meet? No, nothing nothing this far out. So okay. Just have to, but I, I have a pretty flexible schedule, and like you say, if, even if I'm at work and if I can just go by a Zoom meeting, I'll let yeah. you know. I can okay. Remote. All right. But if not, I'm available. John's available. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll get it done. We'll be represented tomorrow. Yeah. We'll get we'll get, we'll get it done. Okay. And I have a motion for adjournment. A motion to adjourn. A second. second. All in favor, hit Johnson. Aye. John Kane, aye. Steve Mesworth, aye. Okay. okay. Reading back to adjourn. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. Get some rest. Okay.